All right, uh, I'm Jesse. And I'm Matt. And we're the Smart Traffic Group, presenting work we did as part of the Computer Science Capstone Project over the past two semesters. We were given a fair amount of freedom in creating a capstone project for our major, so we decided to address an issue that all of us usually face on a daily basis, traffic. The vast majority of traffic systems in the United States are outdated, and so the AMPAR project is to improve existing vehicle traffic solutions with modern technology. Our goal was to create a system that saved time and minimized overall traffic. We also wanted to create a system that was inexpensive so it could be impl widely implemented, scalable, was easily maintainable, and was flexible across various types of intersections. In our project, we wanted to solve the traffic problem. To do so, we examined various models where there was room for improvement. We specifically thought about modeling traffic guards, construction flaggers, and a traffic light intersection. Since the traffic light model was the most generalized case, we decided to base our project around it. For the scope of this project, we define traffic as the delay a vehicle has to wait at an intersection. In order, to decrease, in order to decrease the amount of time spent waiting at an intersection, we created a system with three phases. The first phase was detection. We used cameras and image detection software to identify vehicles at an intersection. The second phase was to track cars and determine more information about their movement and the amount of time they've been sitting at the intersection. The third phase was using the, inter using the information we collected, we used various algorithms that we optimized to reduce, to reduce waiting time and minimize emissions uh, by adjusting the traffic light to improve the flow of traffic. In order to perform our trial, we mounted a camera on the side of a building overlooking the intersection of 3rd and New Street in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. The camera then live streamed the data to our computer running a, visual, uh, a vehicle detection algorithm. So after each frame was captured and sent over the network, our computer could pick it up and begin analysis. Using a neural network, we identified each vehicle in the intersection. TensorFlow, a machine learning framework created by Google, was used to create the neural net. We first collected images of the intersection and identified each vehicle and labeled them by hand. This data was used to train our neural net so it could then identify vehicles on its own. After each vehicle has been identified, the locations were handed over to OpenCV to perform uh, vehicle tracking. After receiving positional information about the vehicles in the frame, we ran image tracking algorithms on the vehicles. The algorithms were sourced from OpenCV an open source computer vision library. We specifically tried algorithms that are optimized for speed of computation and accuracy. After some trial and error, we determined that the MOST algorithm was the best for our purposes. MOST prioritizes speed, and this allows our tracking algorithm to follow all of the vehicles in real time while still being accurate enough that we don't lose track of any of the vehicles. Maintaining this tracking, tracking information allows us to know how many cars are currently sitting at the traffic light, how long they've been sitting there for, and when they've passed through the intersection. Using the information collected from the tracking algorithms, we were able to make informed decisions about what the traffic light should do in order to optimize flow through the intersection. We tried to implement our traffic solutions at a functioning traffic light. However, we encountered some bureaucratic resistance. We spoke to traffic coordinators uh, of, Beth of Bethlehem and learned that it'd be very difficult to take control of a traffic light for legal reasons. Instead, we investigated uh, simulation software and eventually decided upon using a program called MATSIM. MATSIM is a text-based simulation utility where we could run our algorithms and test their performance by simulating what our cameras and computer, computer vision technology would do at a real intersection. Using these simulations, we were able to determine the effects of our algorithms on traffic flow. We compared our results to standard traffic approaches like time traffic lights or pressure sensors, just like uh, Jesse will, will talk a little bit about our results. All right, so overall, uh, we showed that using our um, intelligent traffic system would result in a significant reduction in vehicle delay in the intersection. So this is vehicles moving through as much as 20% faster than current systems. We we're also able to um, decrease the number of vehicle stops at the intersection, which is shown to reduce vehicle emissions. 
Our vehicle detection model is able to identify vehicles with greater than 95% accuracy every two seconds. The model is also designed such that it can be easily adapted to a different intersection or even a different type of traffic exchange. All types of traffic systems would benefit from improved scalability. In many real traffic intersections, there are multiple traffic lights at different stops that may be out of sync with one another, causing unnecessary backup. By allowing these systems to coordinate with one another, these intersections could become more efficient. On a more technical note, a machine learning program could adapt to a specific intersection to make it more efficient by learning the typical patterns of that intersection. Overall, the system shown in this project can be generalized to other traffic devices, such as crossing guards as well. All right, so overall, our project serves to demonstrate the subtle yet noticeable impact that technology can have on our lives. We were able to achieve a system which makes intelligent traffic control decisions with limited resources. While unfortunately we are unable to test our system by controlling an intersection, our work serves as a proof of concept for the technology. Thank you. Thank you.